And of course, part of the problem is really rather simple, that medicine has become compartmented. Concrete walls have been erected between the various disciplines in medicine. And at your peril, do you even look over the other side? The problem we face is so enormous, it's teaching our colleagues how to use a little more oxygen. diagnosed with fibromyalgia three years ago. Well, it's for our son, who is diagnosed with autistic. Because I need it due to my diabetes and my complications. I had like 20 sessions after I suffered uh, visual imbalance syndrome. Now, oxygen is usually only present at 20% in the air. Uh, if you pressurize the air, well then you're going to get twice as much pressure of oxygen in the air you breathe. If you pressurize the air to twice atmospheric and then breathe pure oxygen through a demand valve like a, well, like a diver does, exactly the same thing we use. So it's a sealed mask which allows you to breathe, to take pressure from a tank, an oxygen tank, take oxygen from an oxygen tank at the pressure of your chamber at two atmospheres. You're not receiving air at double the pressure, you're receiving oxygen at double the pressure. 20%, multiply by 5 to 100%, you're getting 100% oxygen at double. Multiply by 2, multiply 5 and 2, you're getting 10 times the pressure of oxygen that you normally breathe at sea level. So what happens normally when you breathe air is that the oxygen is taken up in the lungs at the alveolus by the blood, more specifically the red cells, which have hemoglobin. So we have a special chemical inside a special cell, inside special blood vessels, inside a special sac in your lungs, which extracts the oxygen. It's quite a complicated method of getting oxygen from the lungs and then deliver it through the heart to the body, including those parts of your body which are sick. They may have ulcers, they may be sick, they may be traumatized, they may be injury, and they need more oxygen to do the healing. However, when you breathe oxygen at 10 times the pressure that you normally breathe, what happens is it doesn't just go into the hemoglobin, it doesn't just go into the red cells, it goes into solution, into your, into your blood it goes into solution into all the liquid of your blood, not just your red cells. And when it gets to the other end, it doesn't need blood to go to the damaged, injured organ or injured ulcer or whatever part of your body. It doesn't even need a blood supply to carry on diffusing because it's, because it's under pressure. So you're delivering oxygen to parts that the circulation cannot reach. These monitors, this is where we check that the members inside the chambers, everything is going right. Any problems, they speak to us, we can hear them and we can see them. So these are the oxygen valves, which puts the oxygen into the masks or into the hoods, depending on what you have. And these are the valves for compression and decompression of the chambers. The analog to check how much of the oxygen inside the chambers, everything is set. All we have to do now is members go in, we just close the chamber and we start compressing. It will take between 12 to 15 minutes depending on the depth we with the protocol goes. And you're inside the chamber for one hour receiving oxygen. At half time, I shall advise you to take your mask off and have a drink of water. Uh, when one hour is reached, I shall advise you to take your mask off and then we bring you up, we decompress the chamber and we bring you up. Roughly, start to finish, one and a half hours. And that's it. And uh, after that, you're free as good as new.
Well, uh, what is the multiple sclerosis therapy center chamber? It's basically uh, like a static submarine, a pressurized container that can be that, that can be pressurized up to two atmospheres, which is really only the atmosphere at sea level times two, or what a diver would experience at the bottom of Camp Bay, 10 meters. Every 10 meters that you dive, you increase the atmospheric pressure or you increase the ambient pressure by one atmosphere. So if you go down 10 meters, it is the atmosphere at sea level plus the 10 meters of water on top of you, and so on as you go down. For the purposes of the multiple sclerosis therapy center, we don't need more than two atmospheres. So it's quite lo low tech equipment manned by volunteers to maintain an air pressure of two atmospheres. This is perfectly safe and doesn't require very much discomfort to be experienced by the patients and clients using it. Fortunately, our chamber has uh, wheelchair access. Somebody donated a lovely wheelchair lift, so you can walk in off the road and you're, you're ready to go in one of the two chambers. Okay, we underwent a uh, two-year physical training to get the full comprehension of the chambers, of the barrel chambers and how to work. The national trainer then came over to Gibraltar and uh, he spent a whole week with us where we underwent three written exams to become a chamber operator. After that, two of us went over to the Isle of Man to do an advance Diploma, which is this one that here, and this is where Jamie and myself became technical operation and management of barrel chambers. And that's what, the, what I am today, and Jamie as well.